alternative dig talk real issues real talk Hey Ugandans, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Dewa Kiki, the Deputy Defense Spokesperson, and actually the Deputy Spokesperson for the Uganda People's Defense Forces. I was hosted on Alternative Dig Talk. I encourage all Ugandans that this is the way to go. Always watch, participate, give your views, and ask questions on Alternative Dig Talk. Dig Talk, the way to go. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk. A good evening to you, all our viewers. Thank you for joining us once again on the Diaspora Link. This is your host, Nixon Segawa. I'm so privileged and I'm so blessed to be hosting you, to be your host for yet another year. Uh, Happy New Year to you, all our viewers. I hope and I pray that this year will be so wonderful to you. Tuba sabira katonda wa obu sobozi ila wanguizemu. Musobole na mwokuzayo abana bamwe. Tuja tuwa lomu kisana to kubiriza abana vuna vuna abavude musomero. Okubasa ba banange ni wankuba doko ze kusente ngolawa zi, zi, zinyuma. Na ye okusoma chechisingi la dala obu kuru. Ila tukubiriza odeyo osome. Uh, it is so wonderful. Today we are really having a very wonderful topic. This program, the Diaspora Link, this is a program that looks at the plight of all our brothers and sisters that are out there. Baganda bafe, banyina fe, mikwano jafe, abali emitala wa mayanja, abali wabweluwe gwanga ya tuineno Uganda. Bakola nyo chinene nyo, muntambu za ye gwanga ya fe Uganda. Yenso ngarua chitu wa salau netugamba ntikatufuneyo program. E fila dala kubo, eba kuatila kodala, ilange no program ya mwe baganda bafe, awali wabweru, we gwanga. Bwemuge ndeyo jemulaga, tuetaga, eda tubatuwa gala nyo, tusigalenga, tukuata gana uamu na mwe. Yeno link jetutekao, okubanga tusabolo kogeleze ganya, na mwe baganda bafe, awali wabweru, we gwanga, ate, nensonga za mwe, eze ziba nyigiri zeyo jemuwa ngalira, okulaba ngana zo, zikolu wako. Unakuwa alero, tulino mulamwa omulu njedala, elomu nyuvu, elanja kukusaba, gwe alikosa wazino, odile kali nkiako, okashayari nge, okagabane kone vanu, obagambe ntino, mjetu ulidize nsonga za fe, mjetu lawe, abantu, mkabwa kubaganya, ebirozo, kunsonga, natere, ziyamba, fe, abali wakwe guanga. Omulamwa gwalero, mulamwa mkulu nyo, tuze, tuwa galo kubanga tutu nulira, engedi jetu sobola. Okuzimba mu diaspora e ya maanyi. Aono esobolo kubange zimba e gwanga liya fe. 
strengthening diaspora for nation building. A lot of nations, you can mention Ethiopia, Israel, and other nations were all built by the diaspora. Their economies have been strengthened by their diaspora. Those who have gone abroad, they have made sure they have invested back home and they have built their economy. Uh, a few years ago in Uganda here, our earnings from you, the people in the diaspora, we are far much higher than, than the, 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 the money that we get out of coffee. And therefore, that shows us why we need to look into the diaspora as a force that can help to drive our economy. Noren Songeyo, Sidin Zeka, Mustudio, Olnakuralero, Nina Abagenya Benjaulo, Abanega Seko, Oksoke Radala, Nina Mganda Wange, Ambassador Milton Kambula, Onono Ngamukugu Eranga, he's an economic economic analyst agenda kubanga akubaganya birowozo kongeje tusobola kubanga tuzimba mu egwanga lya fe natera ngenda kubanga negative wako muganda wange era mukwano gwange haj kasim kaira onono haj kasim kaira musajja munna maulire uh, ensonga zo na maulire muri mugune na gukole de dalo kumale myaka ejuerera dalala Na ye ya salawu na gamba nti nga wenta ambuzevi ya maulide na yate kambeko no mlima mwala guenkola okubanga nzimba diaspora. Ali UK, elawe tugendo okubanga tukwata gana na ye okuva AUK, tuli wamu na ye kulain, agenda kubanga kubaganya vilo ozo. Mkulu kasi mkaira ye executive director wa London Village, enono ngeri mpambire, ate iranga ya kuwasa ganya ne aspire. Chidi andongo. Zino no project sinene edabwe nazuli deko ni ngamba nti ye mtuo mtufu okubanga tucha za na tela kubaganye vilo wazo. Butia butusobolo kukunga nyamu ne tuzimbe ejeri e, e, ya ya diaspora. Aono ne disobolo okubanga lizimba e guanga ya fe Uganda. Orenso nge yonge na kusaba omkulu alimo studio Milton Kambura ambassador atubu zeko. Uh, Basimu liwa nyabu vana wafi ya vana liguanga dara mjiva liko. Yenze Peace Service Ambassador Kambula Milton. Mm. Nga yenze President wa Global Peace Foundation. Okay. Uh, Chitongo ya chitewa gani mirebi monsio na. Mm. Mm. Ate uh, ngandimu kwa wabaita wate wa analysts muruganda. Omundu atu nulira mm. e vintu ya economy. Economics, mm. uh, tu tu gaga wa tutia, tu mm. yamba ganya tutia, katale tu kajewa, mm. value addition tu kuzetu tutia, technology chie tagisa, mm. na yenge chuo sina ba chitu kako, ba na mwe ba linyo kuteka au infrastructure na yamani ba na ngo gumuli gongo kusoso kujawa no, physically but you have um, been uh, meeting me, I am very excited with such a kind of technology. I wish. Really, other um, organizations and even our ministries learn uh, from you people so that um, to, to we take now the, the, the digital technology to drive the agenda 2040 through some of these platforms, using this platform. Yeah, okay. And I thank you so much, sir. Welcome, and we really take that commendation seriously. It is on a welcome note. Mm -hmm. Uh, natuera kanyanirize mganda wange Kasim Kaira na ye atubu zeko. Yes, Kasim. Uh, diaspora link to program. Uh, on Sanjuse nyo sebo kubanti o chazi za kuprogram. Iran su vila nti tuja kusoro kubanti kubili bisatu kubili tugaya. Nadaro kula ba development sezili mkugenda maso mu diaspora. Uganda diaspora ya facing over nene diaspora zo ina statement wako zengo kura ono ugamba nti diaspora zisobo ndo kuyamba mawa hanga kabo kore vintu vye njau Uganda diaspora unfortunately yafe ya tandika nge tandikira mpuma nonyi wa uguda mwa wanto wa duka Uganda emirundi miji ya teba wanga wantu wa family za government wa ina kategori mnubali no sanga abasika desu tu aso wala nyoku wanti tu ingira mu kategori ye but right now, we are going to make a start to a start to make a turn. We say, "What about the war increment? Number of people who are coming to come to Uganda? How many people are coming to Uganda? In the chapter two, 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 the chapter two
numbers no nene nyo urambu, urambu, urambu mu Europe, urambu mu America, urambu, kumbi wana Uganda wa sanga wa antu uona. Kati amanya agaze mwa nogenda, wanti gamanya, kakenda tu ya mbogu, wanti soro kore, chintu chino. So nsanyo nsanyo kwa wanti program wene, ze kuwaanga, right now, embele tani so kuchuka. So nsanyo 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 Yes, we want to grow. 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 We Nti ono ye executive director wa London Village mpambire. Nja kumusaba nga tetunaba kugenda wala nyo. Atu nyo nyo le project eno eri kuchi. Na ya gade project eno tujikoze senga case study. Engeri ba na Uganda abali wabwe lweyo. Mwena mwena ye musobola okwe kunganya ni waba wana chemukola. So mbade nja galotu nyo nyo le project chizoli mkutambu za kakano. Uh, Sebo uweba linyo. Obu nama uli lembo mazeme miaka jigendo kwa atakumi makumi ya asatu. E miaka jinamara mu BBC, jampo, mkisabu kuta, murama wanga, manji, nyo. Kurukaru wa Afrika tu ine nsi atano, nova atano munya. Mweze nsi na katamura kwe nsi ya satu mukaka. Kurukaru wa Afrika. Mu Europe tu ine nsi na zolu mosezi suka makumi ya asatu mgoje kwe za iyo wa makumi ya vili musambu. Na katamura mwusi kumbi kumina tane za Europe. Then gata kwa Amerika, Latin America chitono na ina yonku nsobondo kwa nti jitambura. Mubindo vya nani na chengenze nda banti mburu otambule wero ina idea zoge ndola. Mburu wa diaspora zinadara urabe nsinga Philippines. Ezafu na bantu wa wakutani kwa kufuru mama angunyo. Nura wa Bangladesh, nura wa Indonesia, nura wa Uyindi, nura wa India, nura wa Pakistan. Nura ya waka nura wa project nsobondo kwa nti ziko lewa zewa. So one of the things that you know, we have to do is that we have to do the same thing. One of the areas we have to do is that we have to do the same thing. Mami, do you want to do the same thing? Do you want to do the same thing in the background? No, I don't want to do the same thing. Ah, okay. Yes, because we have to do the same thing. 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 But we have to do the same thing. 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 Uh, projects is agezako kuja for example ngea naria katono national housing right in a jamu katingu wala wale nengi amba fa wanto wa wele mweru netube ya tube ya mwere zoku vona avona no umenye kira set wana wanto wa mbata nusu wa senti wa zuwele za wanto wane 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 wanyaga kawari wa dewa gendo usawa wa semiti kumini wa genda wa usatu embele zinozo naza jama wangeno wanto mtu wa zazi mbye nyumbe ye chitaro ni henga uweli ya toi na kubuka mwara ya ino geno kutuka kwa makagomu mtu wa zima zoki zimbe nyumbe ye chitaro wanowe njini wadu wa zata demu waka antuka tengenera ugenu kuranga there is all up and never until now was an issue so ntandi kanefu na chitoza nenga no wachite chisoroko kwa ntisoro creating a village yafi tulonda wa ntutuve mungote kogu no weka ampara tufurume kwe welu because orawa nti infrastructure government is the against the take out PG Express ini ni watu tu sisi zadara ok transforminga e urugudo re masako ne ne accessi ba dero diko utani kukuwa ba sahi business na kaka ukanga ni njia ya urugudo ruvech suli uru crossing ukuvech suli ujogo e katende kato mazeki na petrola busega na 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 chengira problem yeye chia fikia sawa zozo kwa kumara kwa traffic au how inconvenient it is so tu mara kwa hivyo ni no kupata kurugudo re mara kuwe chini ya ndongo ndora ba Ofuruma, ofuruma yake tayari kampara, farmi yangu hichi yando, na yangu hendo kule hichi yando na sote kusenga bombo, e bombo hendo kula ba yika ndi kula kumilioni muna na miaka jambo ni kumine na kumine tano kumina mkak. Right now, yika yeye taka e bombo kamura au mitundu yao, elimu milioni zima kumi asatu, milioni na bimu tatu, na ba stretch of kwa kumilioni muna na kwa kumilioni asatu. Ufunda distance ya maelezo zoka makumi ya milioni kuvu kampara. These aspects. Nenga ba no. Nenga wantu wa wakazi wenzo wala kuwanti nunida. Nga umiyo mbeko mkoko nyingi dembu zinente. Nyingi de ukule wakwa gara ukule memuanyi. Nyingi de ukule wakwa avokado. Vakedo. Mkoze ntia. Ogeno kufuma wakwa tono nye chiti ano. Ogeno kwa wantu wa wadosa sule taka milioni munaana. Ozenga wanugena kusasula milioni. Bili milioni ya mune chitundu. Definitely ya wadagendo kura hike. 
mwe bombe ya milioni 8 wari we mfurumiye mu ngandi ku chorus 2 hours and a half ngamazo kuveka ambara ndi iki bazo kusomoke ka not believe it ugakuranga time jama ava mu Kampala go get up to Kisas ngono yakute ku guru na solo from ekibuga at a cheaper price no fun etaka edyo solo kwa ntu solo ko ogenze wali ofunye etaka 2 million to still ogera ku ntu abada so milioni 8 ku ikemu wali ja kubo ina ikazi ya it starts making a difference no fun awantu wagazi no solo ko ra byoko so idea ne zija ne ngano the first thing is watch the tufuna awantu wa solo ko era plant Government will wait on a Takanga Gazi. One of the biggest problems that we know in the country Africa is land fragmentation. Etaka okutu kakutuwa. Umuntu wa maro kufa, kaira kufa, ni naba wana mukaga, wana ibaja kwa yunguna aga, wana nato raka pande, pande ki, ugopuranga hataka teka mara. Ndeheka katipu wantu ineta, ineta, newechiba government kulisa wanti tuwa gara kubo, tuwa gara masanyarazi, tuwa gara mazi. This will become very easy. Mwoge end up with just 120 families, which is what I need to pitch. So tomorrow, we will make a plan. We will have the rule. We will find our one. Tomorrow, we will find a target again of saying that our families should come with us. So far, we are going to make a growing one. We are going to have 120 families. Zone is going to be no to cut the money. We are going to get the money. We will put land. Land the way today, we must take a way to do, we must go to this area. Or take more facilities, or take more dwellings, or take more parks, or take more highway. Or we rent a full manga, or we shopping center. We go on to another full, yeah, we have contained village. It becomes very easy of job providing a facilities. The very dwellings, the very fire brigades, the very people coming into this. And for that, last year to also what they wanted to have the target. And for us, this this really marked a very beginning. One concept But go from Uganda, Abantu uh, sorry yes, to sir. interject. Tuwanda uh, kubanga no, no. tute gira. Family zizi mm. nene chukumi avili zoyo gira ko. Zona zaba na Uganda mm. bali yuke mwachiko zemutia okubanga musinkana ni musalawo okubanga mukola project. Oba project eno ya muntu sechi no munga agenda kubagu za taka uh, abatu zaba abali mm. yuke. Chino chishuto chenja uwe, it's not people in UK, it's people in the... Mukama katonda mubizigu aine aina emirembe ate jare etiramu. COVID-19 ye ya fuka rolling point. Kumanga COVID-19 uwe maro, tuta aniko kora Zoom, nga wa communication yu leze ku Zoom. Tuta anike misomo, jata anika nga misomo jadini, ba maseka, nebajja, 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 Okay, do kura wanga zoom session ya face or kura kwa wanga tuwe bikumi ya bisatu in one session. Abanda wali zi Australia, zi Netherlands, zi UK, zi America. Netuka hantu mazo kufuna puli ya ntubano. This is a very good grounding ya tusoboro kukose saka akati. O kusoboro kumanti tumo vila izi. Kati ya chilose changi chige ndo kujia. Ngeendo chibu za abanda nga machila ba immediately. Wanote wali imu ya mfuna nti paso na yeze nengule taka. No, it was about people of Amaro. Kupanti bali jesa nze waga abanda ya tumo nye taka. Negative, of course, once you get to the level of mint, we know we registered in the company. Company never registered, yes, as soon as you are a the 20 who registered in the company, that will turn the administration yet for Nega. This is not owned by anyone, this is owned by everyone. About the families of Nazar as a job in the Baganti, one night. Kaida to have your point, Jory, so Ofuna and Kwan of Kadetizimu, Ofuna want to already plan the Novera one. Fanga and Brazil to one guy the win. Or in Novera woman, you do Yagaro Jawa to the one you organized. Katna one of the Rogan of Jim Gudos, Mazok Sadiwamo, Amarwadi, or Gagan, Amasoma, Regana, again, the Messiah will begin everything. Gabriel self contained within that village. Katipo went to Joso Dok, creating the Jango Ram to us say who they were. Or Job take up test if a wolf thing at all, told you that you same. Okay. Tuwe yanziza nyo mkulu kaira. Uh, Mubia yo gede, nina vinzi vya mfunye emu. Uh, Aba na Uganda, beku nganyiza. Ngabu wakunyo nyo denti, beku nganya kuzumu, mpola, 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 mpola. Niba gamba, nti na yekati, wade tu sinka nyo mchinyumo, wakurensu, wangeze dini, wangeze ndala. Rwashte tuwa wakune projekti zetu kola. 
ngafe abana Uganda abali wabweru we gwanga benzikiza ne batandika kubanga batunulira project ya real estate okubanga bazimba kibaita London village mm -hmm. nga economist njagadde oberengo tunyonyola entandi kweyu e yabana Uganda force ye tandise etutwala wa mu kuzimbe gwanga lya fe oba kichochogera ko kunteka tekanga bozulide ah uh, ekisoka uh, Jagala Quivers, I really thank our brother mm. for one mobilizing the Uganda's diaspora in London and across the world. Mm. This becomes the backbone where now economic development can start. Chita Geza, in the movie Trukora, Gwenang, Nomala, Vienja, or Vietrukoria, or Akugam, and Vialia Dean, Katavan Vaja. Nala banga but always the kumi visatru, naga bagat doza to take him canu. Kubanga a via din got muri uh economic development, mujasa chetulimu, bivian peu. Kat orava chakura, kubango redavantu, bali be kidizam mu echivai to boom to kujawamu. Kat vision yo prosperity net handika. Mueva zanyo brother weva nyo, I really thank you. Mm. And really, this is a model. Mm, mm, now, mm. the role of the diaspora mm. is particularly segmented into two parts. Mm. The first one is to market Uganda mm. and also invest in Uganda. Those are mm. two specific objectives. Market and? Market Uganda mm. and invest in Uganda. Mm. Now, the issue is, in the last 50 years, Ugandans abroad had, they were operating in reverse gear. Reverse gear means, mm. and they even did not know that they can be a force for peace building and economic prosperity back home. Mm, mm, mm. So, in other words, Evadenga movement ya kuyamba kujako governments Diaspora. <laughs> diaspora. <laughs> to be part of the confusion already that we are in. So as diaspora failed to, <laughs> so it is now shifting. <laughs> now. So we should, is it a plan by government that now we should shift it no, to... No, God, God is intervening. <laughs> God is intervening. Okay. Because the United States, the last 100 years, mm. their focus has been to build a united nation, you not fragmented nation. So whether an American is in Uganda, he's working to making sure he contributes to the strengthening of America's vision. So are Ugandans <laughs> doing the same? No, which is different, the and, Africans. And, and what is our vision? Our perhaps? vision, <laughs> now the reverse is true, it has been true. It is only my brother here mm. who is saying, mm. no, we, can, we cannot be a destabilizing force. We'd rather be a stabilizing movement to contribute to the stability of Uganda. And I commend him, and I think we must call this man in, in Kololo there. <laughs> you people, you like awarding people who have not done anything. Mm. The man is, is going to, with his friends, are going to build a London vi village. Mm. Mm. With, with, with a lifestyle with, in London. No, it may not. It is just, no, I don't think lifestyle of London mm. is to African values, lifestyle <laughs> of, of Africa united. That's what he's saying, united as a family. He has said that this project does not belong to an individual. Mm. He has said it that the project belongs to everyone. This is a very good vision. Mm. Mm. So the role of Ugandan diaspora mm. is in particularly to make sure into the economy becomes competitive. For example, we have what we call bankable projects. Mm. Mm. One mm. of it is the real the estate. Real estate. Mm. Which we want to, to, to see in the next five years, it must be able to impact Uganda's GDP by at least 25%. That mm. will be good. Mm. Mm. Real estate in Uganda with this empty land is an attractive space mm. to build hotels because Uganda, you remember in 2018, by World Bank and other um, agencies, mm. became the world's most attractive tourism destination globally. Mm. But where are they going to sleep? The, our tourists, we know, 
still mm. lack hotels mm. all over the country. Someone sleeps at Seren in Kampala, mm. goes to Lake Bunyonyi. After seeing, he comes back. All that is fuel. When they are connecting to Jinja, another car takes them. They come back to Serena. They go to Queen Elizabeth National Park. They come back to Serena. That is nonsense. We cannot allow that to happen again. Mm. The cost of doing business must be reduced to making sure these initiatives are distributed across the country and so you can be able to live in, 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 in an equitable lifestyle. The, life, the infrastructure that is in Kampala is equal in every part of the country. Mm. That is a very commendable job. So, Another thing we have the bubu, of course, you know. Ochimanyi Burundi bubu means what? Build by Uganda. By Uganda build Uganda. Build Uganda, yes. So it becomes unique that it, we have reached a time where our diaspora must learn. By no copy, by by no kuraba. Uh, I am in America, yes. Mm. But what technologies are you seeing? What innovations are you seeing that you can bring? back home and say, yes, guys, I have learned this and this and this. Mm. This is how the transport sector is organized, the city of, of more than 12 million people in New York. But look, none of the people get stuck of, of these things. They'll be sitting like now it is in Kampala confusion here. <laughs> so it means you are not mm. just in the UK. Mm. You are a Ugandan citizen mm. who is in the UK mm. and you are our special envoy. Forget about these ambassadors who's, who sit in station deficits. Does our government recognize them as our special Now, that's advice? why I am mm. one of the technical advisors mm. of now the diaspora affairs, office of the president. That's why now my ambassador, that's why His Excellency the President mm. gave that mandate to my ambassador. Haji Kajimu, Haji um, Walusimi, Abe, he's doing a good job. He was in Dubai. Mm. And, mm. and it means, other than having one ambassador in Washington, D.C., mm. now you're going to have 1,000 Ugandans who mm. are marketing Uganda to Americans. And everyone is seated in, a, in, a, in a, wherever they are say, Uganda is good. Uganda has opportunities in agriculture. Uganda mm. has opportunities in re real estate. So mm. if 1,000 1, people in Washington, D.C., the mm. Ugandans, mm. are all marketing Uganda, my brother, do you know what it, it translates into? <laughs> it really translates into what we are talking of, and that is building our economy. I want to pick it up from my brother, Kasim. Uh, you've heard what the analyst is, is, is really analyzing. But do you think uh, that our diaspora is empowered much to build our economy? And... Do you really think it is empowered to market Uganda wherever you are? Away from the politics of sabotage, politics of blackmail, and po politics <laughs> of, uh, as you know, the politics out there in the diaspora. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, so I also will say thank you very much to our Ambassador Kam, uh, for that particular submission. I think the kind of areas that you're going into are uh, the areas that uh, many Said, uh, what helps Lotamra is your world vision, your world view. Your exposure must translate into something. You must be able to pick up lessons from the different areas that you have worked in. No take our car. Ambassador Yakonya Pichinto, because now, because you picked up on that you enjoyed, but it's because you have as fire kidiandom. And uh, I'll tell you about Aspire Kiriando. That will that will in, that will introduce now Ximentinga, Honorable uh, Ambassador, His Excellency Ambassador, what he's said, but also now uh, tap in, in, into the bigger picture. He got another group of uh, key investors. Once we got the village involvement, the village Sorokambra, this was totally voluntary. It's about us living together, creating a community, putting in place facility work for us. Now, done with that, we just thought now we need something economic to be able to do. Again, Kampala is overcrowded. We, look, we looked on the outside of Kampala in Kiriandongo. I won't go into so much of the detail. All I can say is it will be one of the, it's probably the first project by a group of diasporans who have come together to do a project, individual project. You come of farm, you go into business here and there. This is the first diaspora project where we have got people from different 
deciding to come and, and put a project. Once this project is we've already acquired land in Kiliandongo on the Gulu Highway. And mm -hmm. that is going to translate into something whose now I can't go in so much into detail now. All I'm this is going because we, we travel out service delivery, the, the very things that are that has touched traveling to the national parks, blah blah. The, the areas that this area this particular project is going to address. And we are already hitting off the ground. Now, you spoke about support from the government. Mm -hmm. Government hadn't really sort of seen the potential. For me, actually, it was around the last elections that I saw the potential of the, of the diaspora. Because there would be an issue somewhere about what they need treatment. I could see how quickly money could be raised. And if we very investment into something that is progressive on the ground, away from the politics. Mm -hmm. We do not we do not deal with politics. We do not deal from their politics. They can keep their politics, but this is purely business. So I don't mind whether you come from a particular political orientation. That is your business. Once we come into this business, it is about developing our country. So we took a hand to Agaraku raising a two million dollars, for example, two million dollars in no time. Diasporans are very aware of the two can't be moved to a two hundred dollars in Satu three hundred or four hundred dollars a month. Mm. We can raise our one million in no time because the diaspora now is big. I don't know if you have a lot of people who are That is why we are looking to the government now. Erete a promoting it into a private, uh, private public partnership. We look at projects that can be done, and once trust we are in the government, we start establish trust. The rest will start happening. So it's beginning to realize a little bit, and I think by the establishment of the diaspora office that Ambassador is talking about, that becomes a very good network. Ambassador, I'll be Uganda very shortly. I'll meet with you and we go and see how seen me. As part, I had already established, I'd already established uh, a contact with him. I just want us to go and, and you see what is happening in the diaspora. Uganda and Kokuraba, a very Desperate with that, we are coming home. There is a lot of money that has been wasted by investing in individual projects. We mm. want to be these big projects. So, what's the color? The money, money where one you can get surprised, but that is if put in one was it just as one fund, it can mm. act a lot of things that you know wouldn't be struggling in this particular way. So, yes, so Warren Nixon. Done. This is really, that is what Aspire Kirandogo now, for example, has done. Getting mm. investors for the first time, Ugandan investors, all putting money into a pool, into a bank on a project. And that is something, it will be the first time that you in the diaspora are doing that. It is surprising that we are getting people now joining us from the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, who are going to be able to do it. And that is the start. It just means already having a meeting other investment authority and mm. they are very supportive about this so we need these areas this support of making sure anti projects they see wow biggest problem ambassador in uganda is the bureaucracy middle managers about to take it up what needs to happen one one month processing tractors that is frustration for business that does not create an environment for business and what we need now is once we have come in we need to get the support so looking at this project i've seen it happen in other countries there's no reason why it shouldn't happen mm. yes mr mr kaira but no more i want to sing about it in the government it's a local Yevalete Rokutanika project singezu. Mwenga mwichidala echawa siku de nemsala one mutagamba and katuli in the government to yokena fetu tambule. We have to wait for government kwanga about what you will want. Mugambi ni mugamba guy to put a ten dollars kumi choka, no gamu no yeza dollar chikumi a man. No water want to makumi a sat jagabu the sentence was translating the sentence in Uganda. Government 
abafu wano wetaga uru guto. Government ya tukone de njeka jeka. Government yunura mkriyeti nge kuwa wano mangu. Kusoroku ya mpoku wangu iza wantu wano kusoroku kore chintu chintu. This is what we are looking at. And government, chidia pijangu ilange manjinti ya ina wantu wakumi ya satu bede dini ita na woku. Ito mtu wamu kaida nga sechi ndomu. It okay, makes a lot okay. of sense if you come as a poor, then it creates katibuganti ngudo, waganti, mazizi, sanyarazi. These are mm. things that are easy to avail for a project once government knows it is dealing with many people. Okay, and that's what we you. want to talk about. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, Ambassador. Yes, sir. Uh, bo je yo role yo jo kolane omukuru ambassador abewal simbi mm. alimu office ya senior presidential advisor on diaspora affairs yes our government ye gwe technical director director mm. okay government chichiri mukukola mm. obanga office ya muchimuli mukukola okulaba nga prioritizing a diaspora as a source of revenue um, I want to tell the country and the whole world that um, it has not been a critical priority of making sure we strengthen and consolidate the benefits of the diaspora community. Mm. Right now, after the appointment of Ambassador Abbe Walusimbi, we as technical personnel are actually very busy crafting what I would say, building the diaspora economy. Mm. It is for the first time Uganda to talk about these things. Because in Obote's regime, or in the India people were just running about Dukas. Dukas. Uganda was the most feared nation in the whole world. Mm. That was the time. How would you talk about diaspora? People <laughs> mm. running away. So, so our office is very busy. Mm. One, we are looking at building a policy of making sure everything is streamlined under the policy, the diaspora policy. Mm -hmm. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, of course, we appreciate, but they had the limitation. So by this office, it means mm -hmm. that the diaspora people and that community are going to be protected. Mm -hmm. Two, we have many meetings going on with Uganda Revenue Authority so that the, our diaspora community benefits mm -hmm. from the tax incentives benefits from the investment opportunities in the country, other than the Chinese taking the, the, the mm. market share of mm. this economy and the benefits to, to these foreign investors. The Ugandan diaspora, because they are the children, they mm. are the Ugandans, by, not just by registration. These are Ugandan children. Mm. They have mm. the, the, the constitutional mandate, actually demand that they should enjoy the benefits of their country. Mm -hmm. So it's one of the things that we are on. Two, we are also building a, a database. We, this country does not have a database mm -hmm. to, to actually ascertain how many Ugandans are in New York, in, in Guangzhou, in uh, South Korea. We even don't know whether we have Ugandans in North Korea. We don't know. We don't know. But Chuba. So we only know when it comes to election, that's when some of them start this coming up through associations. I support this, ah, government is bad. Then we say they, also, they are also there in that country. But we don't have a, a, a professional database to say we have 25 million Ugandans mm. who are abroad and they are working under these conditions. Mm. These are the companies employing them. We don't have that database. So okay. our office basically under um, Ambassador Walusimbi is busy all over the world crafting that database, which will guide, of course, policy development, which will guide the economic planning, even planning. We must know what are their problems. They don't have national IDs. Some, some of them have expired passports. Some of them want to invest millions of dollars here, but they don't know what are the viable investment opportunities in the country. When they send the small money to their families, money is eaten, and, and the legal procedures going to court, so, so most of them have given up now. Mm -hmm. So I really give you confidence. I, I have told you, mm -hmm. I, I am here, and I am speaking with authority to tell you very soon, very soon, mm -hmm. that diaspora economy mm -hmm. and sector is going to become viable to influence Uganda's GDP. That mm -hmm. is one. Mm -hmm. Two, mm -hmm. to making sure the diaspora, poly, uh, diaspora community contributes, not only just in economics, but also to the peace and stability of the country. By, for example, they, they left, mm -hmm to UK or America, but they know that we have identity-based conflicts here. 
As Global Peace Foundation, for example, they are engineering what we call a, a Uganda for Peace campaign starting this year. Mm -hmm. And this, the diaspora community must lead this, com this campaign so that when they come back mm -hmm. or when they invest in the country, they are sure that their businesses are safe in the country. Mm -hmm. So those are very critical areas. But lastly, they, they, are, they are surrounded by technology, my brother. Mm. The, the, the opportunities of technology, ICT. They, mm. they, they are surrounded by healthcare, the super. But, but, but you, in, seem in not to be, you seem not to be minding and caring about them. No, we are caring about them because this is new to Uganda. They did, we did not know. Even the president actually last time asked how many are in the diaspora. There is no database which any ministry will give you and say, please, you excellency, we have the following in Qatar. Yes, of course, these ones are new. But we are also careful, my brother, that starting this year, we are guiding government ministries, especially Minister of Labor, to make sure we sign memorandums of understanding. Because we are aware our mm. Ugandans are working in very hazardous working conditions. Mm. And, and some of them are in countries or in companies where we don't have uh, what we call bilateral uh, you know, relations with these countries. Mm. We don't have MOUs, Uganda, and some country somewhere. So mm. the Uganda is there, but is it, either there illegally, <laughs> either he has a friend who said, please come as a tourist, and mm. the man found himself there. So mm. those conditions under which which mm. makes the life of the diaspora very very actually painful we are going mm. to iron that because we, the ministries we have guided them that sign memorandums of understanding with this country's minister of foreign affairs and their ministries of foreign affairs so okay. that you ugandans mm. can be able to love your country because okay. they don't love their country because mm. of the issues yeah the better the bureaucracy you have had Mm -hmm. But we are mm -hmm. also looking for establishment of a, a special parliamentary committee on diaspora affairs. That, that, those are the, those are, so that we have parliamentary committee through which our interests can actually reach to the parliament of Uganda, to the mm -hmm. speaker of parliament, Jacob Bolanya, whom mm -hmm. I really respect and, <laughs> and give high regard. Okay, okay, okay. Tweyanzi Zanyo, Tweyanzi Zanyo, Ambassador, or Revi Gambevio, Evirun Jerevi Womu. Uh, mukuru kaira abantu banji bali waneno bwentunulira abawo obubaka bebaza oriyo byonna 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 byemukola ono yebaziza aspire kiryandongo aika jagala nya inzo badge manyina bulunji na ye uh, na che unerita yes katende ali said we bale nyo olwa comment ye ku aspire africa uh, Nache Unerita Agamba what? Mr. Kaira talks about middlemen who later turn out to be con men through claims of wanting to help in issues like land titles and other crucial document process. Here is where I'm asking the ambassador to tell us how better can the middlemaning issue be solved to avoid con men cheating and misappropriation of the diaspora members. Yes, Tienjo, thank you. It's not like we do not love our country, but you, Uganda, Olemwa. Oh, you know, Nayomu Lide. Yes, I want to go on the Valley of Gala, Nayoko Gamba, Etiri, Uganda, Ti Valima. And Gatatuna Bakubanga to Damu, Ebibuze, Ebibuzidua, Njagade Mamikaida, Awaken Songa Zotangas, but to know Lida. Aba na Uganda na Dalin Sanji zino abali wabweruwe guanga. Government ya fetuta abana banji monsi ezebu warabu. Sawa ya kakano abantu wetu singo kubanga tutu tebweru bali, bali mu biyumba mwibakolera. Wetu banga tuwa gira kudayaspora sawa zino abo weba singa obunji. Tuweba za kubanga sente nyingi ziba sobodo kubanga bale etawa nene waka. Ni hetu chimanyinti sente zisinga 80% of their remittances. They are for consumption purposes. Basi ndikira bantu bawe kubanga bali ya kubala virida bana bae bale kawaka. Kubanga ni sente. No kuzika sebo. E, no kuzika, <laughs> no kujanjaba. Kubanga sente zivako la wawelewe guanga. Ngoje koboli yao abamu waganda wafenga mwe abali monsinga UK over US. Ni hetu tutebanji monsiza abawarabu. 
Gembera jiba kolera mu, mbera mbi, mbere nyigiriza. Chisi cholo woza government ya feche yandiva dekola. Okubanga e, e teka amanyi. Kubanga weto gira kuteka amanyi mumu avali ya yuke chinzo kuangua. Okukunga nyaba antuno mgama antileta dola chikumi chiso volo kumuanguira. Neka tituo gire kufose nenene jetu sindise ebu warabu na inga teri na vuo gerero. Chiche chinzo kukolewa okulaba nganavo bamba zibu wa manji basi volo kubanga na uwe nyigira mkuzimbe guangali yao. Mwako jakuwe u inyakote mbade jaga usitawa ambasada ambasada mseko. Uh, one of the things ebi mwako mzibu yetu yi and that is a problem but you don't contact the rightful people there's a part of what helps one is the connection facebook twitter we not prohibited job creating of Nabako up trusting and it's a gambit to put them in the gear and it's a gizom to get a is different from a get official, which unfortunately, despite all the good, what you have some doubt. So, part of the process would be both together, moon scenes, the Kaira Jacoba Manit. If I'm if I want to get people in the US, this is the contact person. If I want to get people in Sweden, this is the contact person. Government, you know, I have a day no one to identify what to have. To be general politics, to be general is about Ugandans and women in Uganda. And again, the way we deal with people, the Kaira you might know if by my political affiliations. Kwanza are gentlemen to our 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 NRA and gentlemen to our group and gentlemen to our DP. For me, what I see is the value of what I can get from you. I don't care what else your your political affiliations are. Can you change the terms of the game? Because you are a uh, well, they are journalists in Uganda that are single people among divisive journalists. Well, the journalists will never have a dog go over my yard. It's going to keep the credibility open. I'll stay credible because the young Kenda or the young Kenda will look and, and respecting it because he knows that whatever they say to me will be credible. You know, NRM, you know, GP, you have that respect created. Because mm. you know, my young Kenda got what I want. Already by the network, so just when we are going out, we are going to be whatever WhatsApp groups that they check, guys, social media that there are more people that when they are trying to change the people's job, people have created within networks within ministries what must be managed to be what is to be what is to be what. It is for government now. Oh, we must not allow people to use government here. You need to be very sensible about social media. For example, if they are warning, Ethiopia warned Oman, never come against the castle, you can put Ethiopia because of an abuse that happened to one person. Now, when government makes a stance, Chiba Chiba Doku very clear that the problem is is to have more government officials. We are again going to now go and watch a company. A company will have to have to have to be to jam with these individual interests to to know the bigger interests is in Uganda. We have to look at that bigger picture. And until and unless we do that, but now Uganda was going to be suspicious of anything that is government. But without taking that away, given the government has also created an initiative where there is for a name and a focus as for any. By no take out means the means is really sincere. On the Uganda, we are going to the market. The government just again with diaspora, the Muslim diaspora, diaspora. But they didn't go move. When you come as a group, but then we are going to defend now a group of fifty investors. We are going to come and we are This is what we are doing. We are bringing a three or five or ten billion Uganda shillings project on the table. There is no way government can't listen to that. You are going to create employment opportunity more as a raw materials again that will bubble right and go and get You are bringing all these facilities beyond just what you want So government has to see these things. Deal with the right people and get your results. And remember, it is individual interest. Which is always the fault of government when it comes to this. We just get not take a moment to go and and then they are able to deliver. One way to promotion to Uganda investment to Peter Muramida. 
fantastic guy. You listen to this guy in the diaspora. Now, these will need to be supported. Our empowerment, Uganda, promise offices this is the first face that you are meeting in Uganda. Mindset changing, no and front desk office and immigration take a smile. That's a problem you do not bring to office. Also, office facilitating. projects What that does is again do you see the kind of ripple effect that comes from this? Yes, government yes, yes. let it identify if now to have a two for again of what we're delivering to be general politics to know the qualities. I know it's difficult for government, but that is the time that you do so. Because they are capable of delivering. Because they are capable of delivering. Because they are capable of Because you have failed to deliver. And that, that's Thank where this starts from. So, but I want to see anybody represented. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, statement no. No, 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 no. Create an environment that Why can that not happen in government offices? It is okay, very frustrating. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you, yes. Mr. Kaiba. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. I think Coming I think back that... to Ambassador Kambola, you've heard the issues that he's raising. And uh, he's talking about government coming up to place wrong people in, in, in offices and they end up not delivering. And again, why can't you negotiate better deals for our girls? I think um, I must uh, actually thank him uh, because this platform you are creating mm. here is actually enabling government. The government is listening. Actually, uh, you are talking to government right now. And uh, um, I know several people will respond. But on my behalf, of course, I have to speak in my own capacity mm. and what we are doing in our, and our office. Mm. One is that um, right now we have had what we call uh, uh, interministerial engagement. Interministerial engagement, I mean all ministries are coming together mm. to making sure they listen to us. And I have been part of the four ministerial meetings where you are a minister of gender, minister of foreign affairs, and we have ably given them the, actually the complaints mm. from our diaspora uh, communities. Okay. One of the recommendations that have been made last year, which is going to be implemented this year, mm. is improved public relations internally, but also externally, okay. which our brother is talking about. Mm. So. I am reliably aware of the changes mm. in terms of reorganizing the ministries mm. to immediately respond. When you write to, for example, Minister of Trade and Investment, mm. starting actually this month, the, you, the emails are no longer going to be dying in the, in the trash. <laughs> immediately, someone must respond to that email. And at URSB, now registering a company takes just two hours. Now you know that. Online, you, it is no longer days, those days registering a company, you, you needed two months. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm very happy that anybody in the diaspora can even register online and, and be able to, to, to pay taxes online. Now, that is one of the things. Then the next thing which mm -hmm. actually must improve mm -hmm. from our side as a Uganda mm -hmm. is the issue of making sure Uganda Revenue Authority 
and all ministries now updates the diaspora people like you can be here you check on your mobile phone you find updates from uganda revenue authority a minister of trade those are the things we want the, the communication the linkage mm. between our ugandans abroad to be aware of what's going on in the country to be aware of what taxes are supposed to be paid how to pay what business opportunity land what is the president talking about May, uh, maybe um, those is, are the things is that there would be uganda because, let me tell you, let me tell you this. China is winning in Africa because they are saying we are 1.3 billion people in China. We no longer have space. So they are opening China to be in every part of the world. Mm. While the rest of the world is, uh, is still sleeping. So for us, we are opening Uganda by taking maids. That's now, it's one of the interventions, but I think we should improve on the quality because the, the economy, people who build the economy, system that build the economy, is not just every intervention that will work. That's why China is not bringing their housemaids here because they know <laughs> at the end of the day, a, a housemaid will be paid one dollar and probably pay two cents eh, for a year. So I think we need also to, ch to improve our education sector, our education performance, to be able to produce quality manpower, human resource, for, for the consumption of our, re our resourcefulness globally, mm -hmm. so that we, we start exporting doctors, mm -hmm. we start exporting probably engineers, that match with the global standards. It means we can trickle in more taxes mm -hmm. and widening also the impact of the diaspora mm -hmm. on the economy. I think you need also to take up this as we are, we are winding up. Uh, someone, Rita, was asking, how better can the middle manning issue be solved to avoid con men, cheating and misappropriation of the diaspora? Well, let me answer that just in a few, one minute. Yeah. Um, everyone, of course, who is in the uh, diaspora, this is the time now uh, where we should model ourselves into a, a, a viable force, not working through middlemen. No. Mm -hmm. The government of the Republic of Uganda is now well structured. The middlemen are within government itself and the officials, if, if you would. Say. Of course, that is the corruption. That's one of the <laughs> issues that I talked about. But mm -hmm. the issue is mm -hmm. you work with the structured board. Uh, bodies of the country. For example, you want to invest in mm -hmm. real estate mm -hmm. or you want to invest in probably technology. The best person to deal with is of course the Ministry of Trade and Investment. The Honorable Minister's telephone is on, the, on the web, their website. The mm -hmm. technical, the entire structure of the whole of that ministry is on the website. So let us use some of these platforms. Then probably we have the Uganda Investment Authority. Uganda Investment Authority is a mandated organ of government to guide everyone who wishes to invest in Uganda. And they have a full website there. They have a 24-hour operating communication linkage. Mm -hmm. and, and if you want more guidance on what works, what doesn't work, of course, someone may think of a business which was profitable in 1940. Now, <laughs> Uganda Investment Authority has what we call the bankable mm -hmm. business portfolio on their website. My role now, mm. uh, in my capacity, mm. is making sure we work with our department mm. and, and particularly engineered towards mobilizing and building the database of the uh, diaspora community. Because we don't know whom we are communicating to. Okay, okay. We will talk about the diaspora link. We will talk about the uh, mukulu kaira ngenda kusaba otu otu sivule na yengo otu sivula uli do mukulu biayo gede uh, muda chikange mu njagala overenga otu uli da koku obada la biayo gira mundo oza yo biso uli da dalo kubwa wa no kubwa wawwe ero otu sivule museke nzinga tano tu yanza tabuyo na zekuru wangu iti niti munti okuna is one thing but we need to see walking the talk Tui no kula wanga vite kebo mungkora kati eda wabaka anti omu asanga mukiriza Gansu yeti government yeti gende wa chibwe sisi uri imba na wechitio kujia kwa kuinda kuinda Kwa wa implementation ya ya projects Ngawe nga diaspora ina kapasite nene nyo nene Ntamu demu bantu ya kwa wa ni mkulu oza vi nene Vi nene for example kwa wangambi ya second ya mwreka just in keeping that very strictly 
ngamo ya fe already someone came to offer ku jo kuzimba mu dwari nga data tezizi kupanga mazoku raba ndi na potential families chikumwa bi then area surrounding area yo nege nda benefiting ati bintu nga bino government we base ne even ti e creating a boring environment if you say the government is like to create new creatives and enabling environment around where we live and there we start to a garage to the facilitation here you ever sincere it at least to lead the amount to get the pastor danzija i'll hope to see you and we take up the in the dalam program we have a twitter gaba regional ambassadors so e chonjaga chiku kakasa inti chintu chino chipia na fedu tuchima nyinyo so sebo jangu tu somese mikutu weji tuja kusu onye tu somesa so e choche chikuru we are going to have these ambassadors nange ngansibula mwevali nyo mbagala nyo please this is a patriotic a studio actually to really be reminded that uh, west east home is always the best come and build your country because no one else will build this country and uganda cannot become great uh, depending on donations no we have had donations but the ugandans coming together collectively towards mobilizing the different talents we have and the resources that we trickle back to our nation then we will not it is not right to complain to american chinese it is us it is us using the small resources we have combined we can transform this country we have the oil we okay. have the gold we have everything now okay. so the future is very bright let's promote the vision of one family under god that regardless of our political affiliations our religions our tribes we can work together because we are one family one ugandan family okay thank you thank you home is the best wherever you go wherever you travel remember that you need to build your home country Nixon Segawa, once again, let's meet on Thursday. Thank you. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk.